Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm taking a look at one from Evil Twin Brew and it is the everyday, once a day, give yourself an IPA. So Evil Twin with another one of their crazy titles for a beer. Pint can, double dry hop, India pale ale, brewed with lactose and vanilla extract added this one comes in at nine percent abv let's go ahead and get this baby in the glass see what it has to offer nothing else really too much on the can itself i'm actually thinking back to some of the more recent evil twin beers i don't think i've had an ipa from them in a while but mainly stouts more than anything so this was one I happened to just see at one of my places, decided why not give that a shot. Almost got the whole can into this glass, so glass is uh, just about hold a 16 ounce can, not too bad. But there you have a nice look at the beer, comes out with a nice orange color on it, has a nice head there that's about a uh, finger and a half, two fingers, depends on the size of the hand, but a nice looking double dry hopped. IPA as far as the aroma nice amount of citrus and tropical notes coming out of the glass very aromatic nice fragrance around it you get kind of that feel of a pineapple of a mango kind of a passion fruit nice citrus feel for sure yeah, this one is uh, smelling pretty good as far as the taste. Nice feel. Really gets around the mouth nicely. You can feel it really on the inside, um, off the tongue, into the cheeks. Goes out in the back end. Pretty smooth, nice drying effect to it. Do feel a little bit of the scratchiness in the throat there. From the hops you do pick up a nice note of the citrus and tropical in the mouth but you're also getting that vanilla that does come out and play you get that nice creamy feel and the texture that you associate with some of these styles when they're using uh, the lactose here as well so there's a slight bit of an orange sickle feel very low not like some of the ones designed to have that orange sickle feel but it is there kind of very low in the uh, back end of the taste body wise nice fuller body beer see a little bit of lacing taking place here on the glass nice refreshing quality to it a little bit of an astringency in there as well get a little bit of a grapefruit type feel along with the orange and tangerine leaves a nice after effect nice duration as well so it sticks around for a bit of time very nice play here from evil twin and this one being their double drop double dry hopped uh, ipa if you've had this one let me know what you think by putting a comment in the comment section a little bit of a uh, muskiness in there as well in the aroma and then you also have a little bit of a slight resinous quality, but not overly done, which do pick it up nicely. But a decent beer from Evil Twin, definitely one I say check out if you are a big IPA type fan, especially if you like more of the tropical fruity uh, type IPAs. Solid one for me, uh, this one's gonna actually be on my pleasure scale. And again, don't put too much into the ratings because it always depends on your palate and what you actually like. So if you see people say certain things about beers and you enjoy those beers, doesn't matter. Go ahead and enjoy them yourself. It's all about what you like. But for me, I really dig this one. I'm gonna give this one here a uh, 425 out of five. I think it does a really solid job. to sit back and enjoy a few of these rather easily. Thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. And of course, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed and you wanna see more of the videos as they come out, hit that bell as well so you're notified. That all being said, thanks. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.